From here, open up your knees and drop your stomach and chest through into the child's pose. And just stretch it out here deep in your breath. Now remember, as we go through the class, we keep our breath deep and consistent in the ujjayi breathing. So we inhale deeply through the nose, hollow the throat, expand the chest and lungs. And with each inhale and exhale, we just allow the body to open through the breath. Remember, the breath is your timekeeper, your metronome. It allows us to open through the asanas, through the breath. So if the poses are easy, if the poses are hard, your breath stays consistent and the same. I always tell you, just like a cascading waterfall or like the, sh the shining sun, the warmth that comes through the breath into the body warms the blood flow, allowing us to open deeper into the asanas. So take these first few minutes and just set your, your breathing into place and just allow yourself to open. And from here, slowly bring yourself up into hero pose, sitting on your heels into the root, sitting up with a nice straight spine deep in the breath. And I want you to bring your arms up, palms touch, and then take your arms out, and then cross the right over the left eagle arms, deep in the breath. And then slowly release, bringing the arms up, palms touch, and releasing back down, left over the right, bend, twist, and breathe. And then slowly release, bringing the arms up and bringing the hands into the chest. And then from here, I want you to place your fingers behind you slightly. And then you're gonna lift into the head, drop the heart. Oh, I'm sorry. Drop the head, open the heart. Breathing down deeply. And coming forward in the child's pose. And then bringing yourself right up into the table pose for the cat and the cow. Now make sure the shoulders are over the rings of the wrist, knees are hips width apart. Now from here, inhale, look up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up, shoulder blades down. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. And inhale, looking up. Exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Squeezing your abs, now looking up, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, looking up. And exhale. And from here, bringing yourself back to the table, digging your toes into the mat, going into downward facing dog. So let's take it up and back. Remember to bend your knees slightly, 
Flatten your palms, spread your fingers, fingers forward. Hide the heels behind the feet, deep in the breath. Remember to draw the navel in, tilt the tailbone, root the heels like, my body's warming up just like yours, so if you see, my heels aren't on the floor yet, but hey, I'm with you. I'm here with you. Again, breathe deep. Remember, we don't want an, a soft in. That's a push-up. That's not, well, it's not even a push-up. That's just bad. We don't want that. Tailbone up, upside down V. Breath deep. Roll the shoulder blades away. Navel in. Tilt the tailbone. Squeeze into the root, rooting into the heels, deepening the breath. You do lots of down dogs. Do not allow yourself with any yoga pose to become so comfortable with it that you don't challenge yourself. Don't allow yourself to make this into something mundane. Make it into something beautiful and creative with every class. And then look between your hands, and I want you to walk both feet forward into standing forward fold. And just hang here and relax. Taking pressure off the lower back by keeping the knees bent. And then slowly bring it up vertebrae by vertebrae, arms out, hands into the air, good hands to the chest. I turn and face you for Tadasana, the mountain pose. Make sure that our feet are firmly grounded evenly, so lift your toes, spread your toes, root your toes, deepen your breath, hands to the chest, draw the navel in, tuck the tailbone, firm the thighs. Deepen, now root firmly into your feet. Feel yourself again rooting into the earth, the ground. That's what this class is about, is about finding our foundation once again. Through a very simple asana, the mountain pose, we're able to again root ourselves in to something as simple as this. A mountain is a very, very powerful symbol. So find your mountain within yourself. and then slowly releasing, opening up your legs wide. We're gonna be doing some standing asas now, and in between that, we'll be doing a uh, forward wide leg spread. So from here, big inhale, lift into the heart. Exhale, hinge, squeeze into the root, and go halfway down. Squeeze into the mula bandha, squeeze into your root, deep in the breath. Up. Rotate, warrior one, that means hips and chest face forward. Square your hips up forward, up, bend your knee, bend your right knee, right knee over right ankle, deep in the breath, squeeze and lengthen through the fingers, deep in the breath, soften the gaze. Back to the center, rotate, just a little bow, squeeze into the root, Rotate, warrior one. Bringing it right up and in, bending the left knee over the left ankle, sink into it. Squeeze and lengthen through your fingers, deep in the breath, gaze forward. These poses are about gaining foundation, rooting in. And back to the center, a bow, squeeze into the root, coming up. Warrior two, hips and chest face forward and sink right into it, right knee over right ankle. Tuck, and I always use the two sheets of glass. Squeeze, shoulder blades down, tuck, lengthen, breathe, root. See, rooting in. Back to the center, bow, squeeze in the root. Coming up, rotate. Warrior two, other side. Again, tuck it in, two sheets of glass, squeeze into the root, rooting into the feet, deepening the breath, gazing forward, soft gaze, deep breath.
up, bow, squeeze into the root, coming up, right foot forward, exhale, inhale, lengthen, get the reach for a triangle, right into a triangle, deep in the breath, again, spiral the thighs, tuck the tailbone, lengthen, deepen, don't let your neck collapse, firming the foundation, getting rooted in, that's what we want. If, you're, if you can't go as deep as I am, you know, come here. I don't want you sticking out your butt and chest. Only go where you need to go. Up. Bow. To the center. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink it in. The arm that's in the air, light. Arm on the leg, light as well. Deep in the breath. And bring it up. Hands to the chest and bow. Up. Wiggle your feet together. Bring your legs together back to mountain for a few moments, just a few breaths. Firming it in, rooting in, getting our foundation for our class, but within ourselves as well. Tree pose, Vrikshasana, right foot and left inner thigh. Tuck the tailbone, roll that knee, firm up this leg, deep in the breath, gaze forward. Find something that's out in front of you, set your gaze, your drishti, and just allow yourself to firm up. Firm up that left leg, root it in with your foot, soften the gaze, deep in the breath. Release, nice and slow, rotate to the other side. Left foot and the right inner thigh, firm up that right leg. Get your foundation, sink it in here, deep in the breath. And slowly release. I'm gonna come back to the front of my mat, which is probably where you are. If not, go back to the front of your mat. From here, we're gonna root it into fierce pose, Utkatasana. Knees, ankles, big toes touching, bring it up. Squeeze and lengthen through your fingers, deep in the breath, sit. Try to sit, try to stand, you get stuck in the middle, squeeze into the root, firm yourself up, deep in the breath. Up, over, and hang. We'll do one more of these. And bend your knees, bring it into Utkatasana. Again, squeeze and lengthen. Try to sit, try to stand. You're in the middle. You get stuck in the middle. Breathe, reach to the heavens, root into the earth. Up, over, bend your knees, and just hang. Just allow yourself to relax here. Let go. Now just hang here and relax. Just let your arms relax on the floor, deepening the breath. Taking pressure off the lower back. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's fine. Now open yourself up to the width of your mat. I'm going to turn and face the camera a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to open up my feet and stick up my bottom, and I'm going to sit deep into this. Feet forward, okay? And then I'm going to take my hands together, push into my legs and lift up. A lot of people, when they do this, they start getting lazy and they just, you know, slouch. Think of a turtle sticking its head out of the shell. Push into your arms and legs, lengthen the spine, deepen the breath. Squeezing into the root. And then slowly from here, you're just gonna release and you're gonna sit on your bottom and you're gonna take it into butterfly. 
Bada Kanasana, the cobbler pose. A lot of people just know it as butterfly, so butterfly. Take your hands around the feet. Peel the feet apart like you're opening up a book. Now squeeze your butt into the mat like you're trying to squeeze your mat with your butt. So squeeze into the length of the knees, drop the knees. We're gonna do a couple of variations. We're gonna move forwards and backwards as well. So lengthen the knees, drop the knees, deepen the breath. First of all, we're just gonna do this for a few moments. Then I want you to inhale. And as you exhale, come forward. Pull yourself in around slightly. And then coming up, roll the heart. And then exhale, go back down. Coming up. Exhale down. Up. And down. Making it into rhythm. Up. And come back to the center, I want you to, to roll into like a circles. First of all, going in one direction. And going in the other direction. And then coming back to the center one more time, go the other. Now from here, let's lie on our back, go to bridge. So <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you have your feet or hips width apart. And then from here, you're gonna make sure that you bring the hips into the air, interlock your fingers, tuck the shoulders, deepen the breath, squeeze and lengthen the tailbone towards the knees, deepen the breath, gazing upwards. Firming up the arms into the floor. And then I want you to slowly release it, bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and slow. And we're gonna do a little variation on this too from here now. Let's inhale, bring it up again. And exhale down. Doing four knees. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. From here, taking it into recline butterfly, arms to your side, palms open. And from here, bring your legs together, squeeze your legs in, big hug, rock and roll side to side. And from here, arms to a T, legs to the right, look to the left. And bring it to the center, legs to the left, look to the right. And bring it back to the center, one more big hug, squeeze it in. And from here, lay it out on the floor for Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms open. Take a great big inhale. And then release through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale.
Inhale. Exhale. Now take these next few moments and just allow yourself to completely relax and to let go and to become grounded. The root chakra yoga class that we just did is about becoming grounded. So for these next few moments, just allow yourself to ground deeply into what you've been given through your yoga, your yoga practice. It is a gift that you give yourself that no one else can give to you. So find the roots that you may have lost and ground yourself in for peace and discovery. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.